Hi, welcome back to Photoshop CC 2021 Glass and Book Chapter 4. This is Part 3 of Layer Basics. So when we dropped off, we just finished uh, creating our layer, layer styles. So let's go ahead and jump in here to our Photoshop document. And we're going to go ahead and now add a border to our postcard itself. So we're almost done. Let's go ahead and grab our Move tool. Let's make sure that Auto Select is deselected. Let's go ahead and select that postage layer. And let's go ahead and grab that postage. So let's move it down just a little bit. Let's move it down here. All right, a little bit better. And let's go ahead and grab our Island Paradise. Oh, let's select out. Let's grab our Island Paradise down here. And let's go ahead and tighten up the kerning just a little bit. So let's come down into our text and make it not quite so wide. So we should be able to get character to pop up the window and character. And let's bring that from 250. Let's try 200 instead, bring it to a little bit closer. All right, I like that better. So let's grab our move tool and center it a little bit better under let me use my arrow keys, kind of center it under my Hawaii a little bit better. Let's do control S and save that one. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add a border to the whole thing. So let's come down here to our, uh, let's go to our Island Paradise. And let's go to a, create a new layer here at the bottom. And we're gonna create a border so let's come now to do select and all. All right, we want to do select and modify. And we want to modify the border. So the border we want to say is going to be 10 pixels and say OK. So it's going to go ahead and make a border for us. Now we're going to go ahead and we need to fill it. So edit and fill. And now we need to tell it to color. So we can have it be the foreground color, which I've got set as kind of a red. Um, you can do your background color. You can do another color. I'm going to go ahead and do my, let's do my foreground color and say, OK. And now let's go ahead and say, OK, and say deselect, control D. And so now if you look, I've got a nice red border around the outside. I could have made it bigger. Um, but I'm okay with it the way it is. So now what we need to do is go in here under my layer one, make sure we call that border. And do a control S and save. Click out. And so now what we need to do is a few more things. We're going to flatten this. So we, you know, once you've created all your layers, you've got the ability, you can always go in and change things. But maybe once you're finished, you can kind of see what's it going to be like when I want to put this into something else. So you don't necessarily want to have all the layers. So if we kind of look down here, we can see, we can look at, we want, uh, which one do we want? File size. Document size, here we go. All right, so this gives us the idea of how big it is if you leave the layers in or how much it is if you take the layers out. So let's go ahead and do, you know, we're gonna make one that is layered so you can go back and change it and we're gonna make one that's flat so that you can use it to put into, maybe you're making an ad, maybe you're doing something else with it. So let's go ahead with our image, come down here to duplicate and we're gonna call it Chapter four, flat, and say OK. So now I've got this one called flat. So now I want to go here to layers, come down here to flatten image. So it's going to say discard hidden. So let's make sure we take a peek at, say cancel, let's find out what's actually hidden. Just our background is hidden, so that's OK. Or we can turn it on. Doesn't really make a big change. All right, so layer, 
flatten image. And so now instead of having all of our multiple layers, we've got one, one layer itself. So it's much easier to move around or put into other items. So you want to make sure that you don't flatten it until you know you've made, you know, it's totally perfect the way you want it. Otherwise, if you flatten your original, you won't be able to go back and change it, which makes it really, really hard. And you don't necessarily want that. So let's do a control S on our flat one. Let's do a control S on our layered. You're going to turn in both for the assignment. And so that is how we go ahead and play with different types of layers in Photoshop. And mastering layers is something we're going to play with over and over and over again. So don't worry if you didn't get all this time. The idea is learning the stacking order, learning how to um, move things around. So I hope you had fun making your Hawaii postcard. We'll talk to you next time.